So there's only one outline and it has the note outline for both chapter six and seven. And I believe it's labeled that way on Canvas. So I would click open the note outline first so you know what the important parts of the chapter. Then you need to read the chapter. I'll reset the dates. I realize all the things from chapter seven, the dates are set from May, from summer. So I'll reset the dates for all of the um, chapter seven work. And I think that second part of chapter six, the review of the cell part. So um, I'll reset those so that they'll be all due next, like next coming Monday or Tuesday. And then um, not, this Tuesday, but the following, we'll have an exam that's just on chapters six and seven, but we'll already be moving through material for eight, nine, and ten. So we're past the part where you have a lot of extra time to just um, gather things up and study. We're to the part of the semester where you're going to have to um, stay on track or a little bit ahead in order to be ready for the exams. So, but the next quiz only has two chapters on it. It only has six and seven, which there's a lot of material, but it's a lot less than, um, it's more focused than what we had for one through five. So chapter six basically has two parts. The first part of it is all about tools that scientists use to be able to study cells. And then the second part of the chapter is all about walking through all the organelles inside a eukaryotic cell and describing their structure and function. And as much detail as that, I, that I've that i given in the video from the summer, that's how much detail you need to know. For some of the organelles, it's everything that's in the book. For other organelles, they go on and on and on. And there's just a small, you know, little bit of that that you need to know. So you're going to have to read the chapter and watch the video. Um, so that you know what parts to concentrate on. For the light microscope, for the beginning part of the cell, we already did that lab exercise about measuring cells, and the point of that was to kind of get you ready for this, and I am still looking for some sort of a virtual microscope lab that um, would be suitable for Bio 1 at college level that I can assign you for free that you can do because we are not getting any microscopes in our kits. Those are being reserved for the microbiology students. So um, I'm still looking for that. So, the, so just keep your eye out. There might be uh, a tutorial or some sort of an activity that pops up for lab activity for using a microscope in the next week. Um, I think there's also an, another skills exercise from Mastering Biology that's more about um, uh, making a line graph or something. So that'll be popping up in there as well. So for chapter six, review the metric system, uh, review the uh, conversions for the metric system. And then um, for microscopy, there's just a couple types of mic microscopes you need to know about. You need to know about the bright field microscope you need to know uh, phase contrast, fluorescence, confocal, and then the two different types of electron microscopes, which again, all that is gone over in the video. And there are pictures to go with this in your textbook that show what you can see with the different types of microscopes. And then probably the other most important thing out of this chapter is that um, there's a long discussion of the differences between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells and that's really important um it's the basis for the domains that we talked about in chapter one so you do need to make yourself a list of the things that are uh comparing and contrasting prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells because that's a really important concept and then the rest of the chapter is literally about every single organelle and its structure first, just like we did for the organic molecules. You need to be able to tell me which ones have two membranes, which ones have a single membrane, um, what's inside of them, what's on the outside of them, um, all those things, and then what their function is in the cell. And 
the functions as listed in your textbook. Like you can't say the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell anymore. You have to actually be able to say that's the place where cellular respiration occurs and that involves the production of ATP. That's how cells make ATP. So we need a little bit more sophistication with your terminology. And um, that's, that's pretty much all of chapter six. Do you guys have questions for chapter six? I realize that today is probably gonna kind of be a dud day because you just took an exam yesterday, but do you have specific questions from either the video or the notes from chapter six or seven if you're that working that far ahead? I would certainly be happy to answer them. Are we gonna to need to know a lot about um, the homogenization with the cells in a centrifuge? Um, no, you should be able to tell me the steps in order and like what happens, like the function of each. Um, so uh, you, you'll need to be able to tell me the, like for that picture, basically the whole point of that is to describe how scientists break open cells in order mm -hmm. to study them. And so the homogenization part is just literally you put them in a blender and hit the button or you sonicate them with sound waves. And then the centrifugate, centrifugation, I'm not expecting you to remember all of the different speeds, but mm -hmm. in general, you should know that the higher the speed, the smaller the particles that uh, sediment to the bottom. And you should know the difference between the supernatant and the pell pellet at the bottom. And if I'm looking for something, for example, I think there's a skills exercise actually that goes through that. There's, if I'm looking for something in the supernatant, not to throw that away. If I'm looking for something in the pellet, throw the supernatant away, resuspend the pellet and spin it again or do whatever. So that's just to give you an idea of um, how people actually study cells, right? Okay. How they bring them open so they can see. Um, so I'll answer all your guys' questions about the, the course in general after we finish talking about any particular questions for six and or seven, because that's I want I want the most of the um, video today to be focused on the questions that you have for chapter six. And if you don't have any other ones, then um, I'll answer your questions about the pen, the next pending doom, so to speak. <laughs>